Great team. My next guest back in action. He's going to be taking on Gregor Gillespie next Saturday at UFC Fight Night. It is Diego Ferreira back here on the program. Diego, how's it going, man? Thank you. I'm doing great, doing great. You know, just more excited than ever. You know, stepping in and in, in short notice, but feeling awesome to to get inside Octagon again. Yeah, it's great to see you back. Uh, you mentioned the short notice. When did you find out about this fight? Because we're talking about a fight next Saturday, and it, I feel like I just heard about this fight maybe like a week or two ago. Yeah, um, I, I I got the fight in like in, in three weeks, or, uh, uh, or three weeks and a half. You know, I just got the call, and uh, uh, they they asked me if I'm I'm, I'm okay to fight and Right here I am, you know. Yeah. Getting with it, cutting away, and uh, excited never to just uh, just to step in and and see what what we we can do on um, May eighth, you know, in Vegas. Yeah, it's gonna, it's going to be great. Now you mentioned it being short notice. Did uh, did Gregor have another opponent, or is this short notice for both of you? Do you know? I think he he, he have another opponent, and, and uh, the guy got a um, uh, got the COVID. You know, right. And, oh, yeah. Uh, it was it was Brad Riddell. I know initially that was the fight they were supposed to have. That was back in March. I just wasn't sure if this new date, oh, okay. if, if Riddell was also rescheduled. But it doesn't matter. Either way, you're fighting yeah. him. That's all that matters, right? So, <laughs> I didn't I, I didn't know anything uh, uh, about the what he. I, I just got the fight like in, in like two weeks, and uh, I say yes. You know, obviously the last fight with Darius didn't didn't go your way. Uh, it was a close fight, mm-hmm. right? It was it was it went to the distance. Uh, what did you learn the most from that performance against uh, Benil Darius? Uh, I think the most I learned was the the fact if if you you, you strategy the first strategy don't work, I think you have to go to the second one. You know, I think it was the the little momentum when uh, I was supposed to stop the takedown. Besides going so much for submissions, because I felt that like I could do more on the submission, I could do more damage in in two. My my stand up was much better, and I think my grip, you know, like the 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 hard punches to go through the the long combination was not a I was not a factor on on uh, the strategy I have already. I was training more to to try counter on on his on his uh on his his uh his combinations, and I think that like uh it it, it hold me back a little bit, you know, to to really. Try thinking like uh, what is gonna be in the next step. Well, he's beating me up on this round. What I gonna do to beat him in the next round? And I think that like it, it, it made it made it a little hard for me. You know, I I kind of take a lot of points, and I think the strategy number two, uh, uh, it, it's gonna it's gonna come for the next fight now because if you go one and strategy is not working with it. The first one, you have to go to the number B. You know, like it's that's that's what I want to say. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you're taking on Gregor Gillespie, yeah. who's got a got a great record. He's 13 and one. We yeah. know what he's probably going to try and do in this fight. He's going to try and take it down. That's his bread and butter, is his grappling and his wrestling. How do you feel like you match up against him in this fight? Uh, I don't know. I think the the challenge, you know, I think the challenge is it, it's it, it's gonna it, it's make me more excited to work on my wrestling. You know, I think be, just because he's uh, I don't know how many times world champion and you know. Uh, 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 really great, great credentials, but uh, I think this is MMA, and, and if he can hold me down, he have to hold me down for uh, 15 minutes, you know. And I don't think he's gonna happen for 15 minutes. I think we still have to come back on, on our feet. But I'll be waiting for my wrestling, and I uh, for his wrestling, and, and I really want to work in my in my stand up and see see if he have a good jiu-jitsu too, you know, because his last uh, he last uh, wins on the UFC. The last two were, you know, with a high ranked fighters. He kind of just go by this, go by like, you know, TKO. I, I, he would go for the finish, yeah. But I think my point of the fight is more like going for the finish, like a submission or, you know, or knock you out. And I think, I think, I, I think that's what uh, I see the fight going. You know, he he have to go try to do the wrestling, but to do his wrestling. But I think I'm gonna be real sharp in my hands too. Training camp, because of the short notice, did you get to go to Fortis for this camp, or what What does camp look like leading into the fight? Exactly. It was fun because uh, uh, the week before I got the fight, 
I did go to 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 four just you know just to keep me you know my training uh, stay sharp, stay you know in a in a good uh, uh, moment in my life. I was exactly what I uh, what is sign up to uh, do a, a, a super fight, jiu jitsu super fight, and I have to cancel. I have to cancel because because uh, you know, because I got the fight, but uh, uh, I was in a, uh, I was just coming coming back from the week uh, the week be- before I go over there to 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 force it in May. I did train and coach like no, I'm just just stay in shape, just stay in shape. It's gonna be everything fine, you know. Everything is gonna be fine. Just stay in shape, and I did it. You know, the week after. He called me and I was having the fight already, and then I was excited. I said, "No, coach, that's right. What to you know?" And we have a fight coming up already. Let, let's do that, you know. Let's do that because that's how that like, when you you when you're waiting for a fight, it, it's it makes sense to 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 get a short note of fights, you know. Like why not, you know? Okay. It, it, that's what it is. Who did who did you get to work with as far as training partners for this fight? Ah, uh, this one I have a. Uh, I always work with Neil. You know, he would he, he got his fight before me. Um, he would have his fight before me, and I have a with Damien. Damien Jackson helped me out. Abidu, uh, Ramez, Victor. I have a lot of work. Uh, I have a lot of people help me out on the, on this camp, and man, uh, that that's that's why that's why I'm really excited. I want to really. Um, see how I do it on um, May 8th. Yeah, for sure. And how's the weight cut going? You got three weeks. Is that enough time to get down to 155? Exactly. Like I, I was already 175 in, uh, in, in, in the week. Like the week I got the fight because I have the super fight coming in and I was already in, in 175. Right now, it's just maintain. You know, it's the hard part, maintain. You know, but... uh. uh it's doing really good and just going down slowly. But, you know, you always have to be real cautious. You have to be focused on a way. And and the fact that to be focused, it makes me more uh, uh, excited to push myself to, to cut the weight exactly uh, uh, exact the right time, you know. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Coach Safe, I imagine, will be in there? Yeah, Coach Safe and uh, Victor Martinez are going to be on, on my corner this time. Because uh, we got short notice, you know, I could have put uh, every, uh, uh, all my coaches on it. Uh, it's like I have a plan to put all my coaches this time. Mm-hmm. But uh, how it was, was short notice and, and we don't have a time to get all through the papers, you know. And we decide just uh, for right now on this one, we're gonna just going to go. And my wife, too, going to go with me to, you know, help me out to, to on a weight cut. Uh, but on, on the corner, just going to be me and Victor and, and Coach, Coach Safe. Uh, how do you see this fight playing out on May eighth? I see. I, I think, um, like the way you say, I think he really gonna try to wrestle. You know, he gonna try to wrestle and go into my legs, try to take me down. And I, I see I'm counting on on those takedowns. You know, I'm see counting, going for the submission, going for the finish in the first to the second round. Uh, I think I'm gonna use my jiu jitsu. I know it's gonna be it's gonna be really. Uh, hard because he have a good uh, a good wrestling but uh I, I think i'm gonna go look more for the submission and work in my hands some too you know i'm not gonna just try you know counter his wrestling but i'm really gonna try uh take everything i can if i have to go to to the you know on my hands work in my boxing i i, I will but i'm really looking for the submission on this one where, where does the win over uh gillespie put you do you think because you were on a good path you just lost your last fight was a split decision so i mean it's mm-hmm. you're, you're still i think in that spot uh, do you feel like a win especially a finish will get you back to where you were before after the anthony pettis fight um i really don't think so you know um i think i have to climb a little bit more and I wanna, I wanna have another fight. I wanna have at least one more fight this year. Maybe the, the last, the, the the last fight in the year, this year, it gonna put me somewhere. I got me, a, 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 you know, on the top five. But my my point, like my my focus, this one, I know, uh, I don't, I don't go to like too high, you know, like on that ranking. Mm-hmm. But I think that my my next one will, you know, my next one with a big fight. Like, uh, uh, I think I have to to cross the barrier, you know, like uh, 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 to cross the barrier between the top 10 to top five. And 
Um, this one is not even the top 10 yet. Uh, uh, it's top 15. And to be Gillespie, uh, Gillespie, sorry, Gillespie mm-hmm. is going to be uh, uh, put me on a, still just make sure I deserve to be on the top 15. I think that's, that's who's going to be. And maybe the next one is really going to put me on, on to the next, uh, to the next step for, for, uh, number five or number eight. I, I don't know. Top five on, on the world, but that, that's what, uh, that's what my plan. That's what my goals and, you know, just going to keep working and see what's going to bring next year for me. I mentioned Anthony Pettis. He actually fought last week. I don't know if he caught the fight. He fought Clay Collard and ended up losing. Uh, did, did you catch the fight by chance? Did you see it in PFL? No, no not really. I really don't saw why I was not in, in town and I couldn't catch up with, uh, with that. But I saw the, the news. He, he, he lost by decision. Uh, it, was, it was a tough fight. You know? It was the 155 too. Uh, but uh, – uh, uh, I really don't saw anything about it, you know. I just saw the, the uh, because I follow him. I still follow Anthony Pettis, and I see on the uh, on his uh, on his news feed, Instagram, yeah. yeah. And uh, from there, I saw. I said, "Oh, damn, that's that sucks." Well, but, cl- uh, yeah. the, he almost pulled it off at the end. He, he landed a, a shot at the very end of the fight, and you could tell Clay Collard was rocked, but it wasn't enough in the judges because he had lost the other round. So it was uh-huh. close. Only reason I brought it up, obviously, is because you're the last guy to beat him at 155 before he went to uh, PFL. So that was kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, and he's exactly he beat one of my one of uh, my Morono, friend, I know, I know, Moreno. Yeah, yeah. God damn, like, yeah. but. Uh, Fight the fight, man. When I saw this one and, and and he lost, but you know, I'm still a big fan of this guy. Now he he, he did a lot to the sport and, and crazy, crazy kick, the crazy kick he always does, and you know, it make me it make me like always keep keep watching him up. Yeah. You know, being a fan, uh, Diego. Thanks so much yeah. for doing this. I know you're super busy. Thank Anyone you, you want to thank? thank any you. sponsors? Any social media? I'll give you the last word. Uh, thank you all, 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 all my fans, you know, all my people always support me all, uh, all over Texas, you know, South Texas, um, all my sponsors, all my team, uh, my, all my team, team Forters, team, uh, team Fajita and, uh, uh, the Shaq always give me a good support and, uh, the, everyone from Misfit always give me that, that, that shout out every single, every single time. I appreciate it guys. Thank you, James. I appreciate it for the opening space for me too. And let's go, May 8th. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.